All right, I've been trying to set you up on my dash and it's not working. I got a cute little teeny tiny tripod out of my supply of stuff. I'll show you later what I'm doing, why I'm getting out all my camera gear. I shut the garage door. But I'm on a little mission for my friend this morning and I have a few other errands to run. So my friend, I have a, a group of friends that all get together and do stuff, do stuff like the gift basket I got from when my mom passed away. Um, hang on, neighbor was uh, watching me too closely. <laughs> When they get together, they do these gift baskets for, you know, if you're going through something or you've lost a, a parent or a friend or something. Anyway, and <laughs> this friend of mine, poor thing, she had been feeling like these pains in her stomach for the past couple days, ended up in the ER yesterday and got her appendix taken out last night. <laughs> and she's always, the one who heads up these gift basket things. She's always the one who coordinates it. She's always the one who gathers the money and then goes like, gets all this stuff and puts it all into a basket and delivers it and door knock, you know, like door, door ditches it. And now she's the one who's needing it. So she just got home from the hospital last night. It was like outpatient surgery. And I quickly got on our text message string and I started texting all of our friends. I'm like, okay, hey, now it's her turn and she's gonna get mad at us for doing something for her. I'm sure she didn't want everyone knowing, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit bigger. Hang on, get you better light over here. That's not any better. <laughs> okay, maybe that's, okay, we're gonna go to Costco and then I'll try and explain, but I'm gonna, I, I got some money. And my friends donated a good amount of money so while I could go to the dollar store and get a few extra things, which I'm going to do tonight with Kaylee, I'll explain that one later, I think I'm going to just kind of spend the money and get some bigger ticket items. And I'll explain my theme for the gift basket if I find everything I want. We're gonna go a little bit bigger, but also she's on a keto diet. She was one of the first friends of mine who started doing a keto diet and at the time, I just couldn't hear it. I couldn't, I've said it before, I couldn't talk to my friends when they talked about diets and exercise and that kind of stuff. Now I can, and now I'm in a different place, and I've listened to her, and I've listened, and I've ha had help from other friends of mine. You know who you are, ice cream sandwiches and ice cream bars <laughs> that were keto when we came for game night. You know who you are, thank you. Thank you for understanding. So now I'm understanding keto a lot differently and I'm not so ashamed of talking about it, I guess. And so I'm hoping to get her some keto snacks from Costco and also look at some for myself because, we'll talk later, because my taste buds are kind of changing already and I'm really happy about that. We'll, I'll, we'll talk about that in a second. All right, it got too hard to uh, film while I was out and about. So I want to show you what I've got, but I also have people that are going to be dropping off stuff for my friend's little gift basket. I think someone's coming today. I'm going to get cash from someone else later this afternoon, and then someone else is bringing stuff tomorrow. I'm hoping to be able to get it to her tomorrow night or the next day. So fingers crossed that I can actually do that. But let me show you what I've gotten so far. So like I said, she's on a keto diet. So she has, like, I can't just go get, like, chocolates and, you know, candy bars and chips and stuff like that as, like, comfort food while you're recovering from surgery. So kind of keep that in mind and why I, normally I don't spend this much per item, but her things are kind of more specific with her diet and other things. So I kind of just decided to, like, splurge. And I had enough money from all the people that had donated. They didn't have time to go and get stuff and contribute. So it's actually sometimes easier when I get cash and then you can just kind of gather everything up myself or whoever is doing it. We do this often. So we've kind of gotten the habit of doing this. So let me show you really quick what we ended up getting. All right. 
<laughs> I this is so fun. I love doing this kind of stuff. So I got this little throw blanket at Costco. I got the little animal print, but I also wanted it to be kind of neutral. I don't know what color she's got in her house. So I just kind of got the gray one. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I actually want to take it to her today, but it's actually warm outside. So she wouldn't be able to use it today anyway, but the rain is coming back. So this is going to come in handy as soon as she gets this. Then, well, we'll talk about that guy in a second. So then I went and got these guys at Costco as well. I actually got one for myself because I want to try it for our trip. Normally I have a chip or something when we travel. So I'm going to try this one. I think it's going to be good. I don't want to open it though until I go. So we're not quite ready to go yet. So I got her one as well. Her friend told me, what well, she was kind of guiding me on what to get, but I couldn't find other crackers at Costco that were keto friendly. This is kind of the only one that I could find. But then her friend, I didn't really know exactly what kind of chocolates she liked other than the brand was Lily's. And so she directed me at Fred Meyer where to find these guys. You guys, these look so, so good. There's only one gram of sugar and they look so good. <laughs> They're $5 a bag and it is like down here anyway But if you now I understand if you get chocolate if you get to have a sweet Then you'll take whatever you can get so then I also got her two of these Lily's candy bars I got the salted caramel one because I figured that's kind of what she likes and then just a plain milk chocolate one Also, I got myself one. So this is my airplane snack normally I get like M&Ms and chips so I'm trying to learn how to modify and she's kind of my, she's one of my gurus to try and figure out this whole new diet thing. So kudos to her. Then I got this Yeti water bottle. This is where I'm saying I kind of splurged. This is not a cheap water bottle, but she is on the go all the time. She's at football games with her husband and her kids. She is running around serving everyone in this community. Like everyone knows this person and she's just busy. So I just wanted her to have her water. She drinks her water all the time. I wanted her to have it and be able to take it wherever she goes. And then the last little splurge, I got her a gift certificate to go and get her nails done. So let me explain that one. Okay, so normally if I had any extra, I would have gone to go and get a Target gift card, put all the rest of the money on that gift card. She can spend it however she wanted to. I know this friend well enough she wouldn't have done it for herself. She wouldn't have gone and bought something for herself. She's not a selfish person. So I don't want to give her the chance of being able to go and buy groceries with it at Target. So I took whatever was remaining after I got all the rest of this stuff and I got the gift card for the mani manicure, pedicure, whatever she wants to spend it on. But it's written to her name. She has to go and use this. <laughs> she can use it on her hands, on her feet. She can get a wax, whatever she wants to go and do. But she has to do this for herself. I'm kind of hoping she takes a friend or she goes by herself and just enjoys the alone time with her kids at school. <laughs> like someone texted me while I was out and about. And uh, she's like, is it too late for me to drop something off for you? And I was like, no, no, no. It's been a fun morning. I've been going around and gathering everything up and I'm having a great time. And she's like, of course you would. You love doing like this stuff. I love to shop and, but I also love to like make others happy. And for this person in particular, I need to reciprocate what she did after my mom died. So, yep. All right, my next task at home, I do have a video to edit yesterday's day, but I'm almost done with it. So my next task, and maybe it's a little too early, but I'm just trying to like start getting stuff done. I've got to pull out all my electronic stuff that we have to take, you guys. <laughs> I have to know if I'm gonna have enough room in our suitcase for all of our stuff. It's just the two of us, but there's just so much stuff that you have to take when you have a channel too. It's like I have to take my business with me. <laughs> And actually, we might go and fly the drone tonight. Jason wants to practice with it before we're flying it over the ocean. I don't think I need the GoPro case. So, let me see what else I have in here. I hide my little think bars. We can talk about that here, too. Uh, let's see here. I have my little, my chargeable battery pack here that I take in my travel bag but it is so heavy and I got Kaylee and Abby some new ones for school they can put them in their backpacks that weigh like 
way less than this one. So I told Kaylee if I bought her a new one for school, she had to trade with me for the week that we're going on this trip. So I've been hanging on to this. I'm going to put it out and she's got to trade me while we're gone. All right, so I've got my stuff out. That one's going to get set aside. I've already gone through this. I've already like, if you haven't seen this little bag, let me show you. All right, so this is my little electronic bag. And I actually didn't take it last time we went to Utah and I regretted it. I was like, oh, I don't need that much. I needed everything that was in here. We ended up having to go to the store and buy some stuff. I've gotten more charging cords for my phone. I've got charging cords for, where are they? Where are they? Oh, for this guy. In case this guy um, doesn't work. This is our external hard drive when I travel because this guy back here, this is my super duper, I think this is like a five terabyte. Um, external. That's what I save all my videos to. But when we travel, I just take a little portable one. You can see this has our Maui trip from last year as well as like some of our other vlogs. But this is the one that travels with me. And then when it's full, I'll just mark it with the second trip to Maui. But sometimes I lose these cords or anyway. So I have a bunch of extra cords in here. I have wipes for the camera. I have extra cards for the camera. I have ex like extra little extensions. This little guy goes into my computer. This is it's a second one like this guy. It's a little to doggle. With the new MacBooks, um, you don't have a, a port for the USB, so you have to have these guys. But when I do my videos, I actually have to have two toggles. I have to have one for my external drive, and then one for my discs, like like this kind right here. Um, oh, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, so I have my disc that would be in my camera and then the USB here and I would plug that into my USB port on my computer to be able to take the footage, put it on my computer. The problem is my computer isn't where I want the photos stored for my videos. It needs to be on the external drive, but the external drive it doesn't have a USB port. So I need a second toggle to plug this guy into in order to transfer this data to this in order to use it on that. Confused? <laughs> That's the problem we ran into when we were in Utah. I was like, I can't do this. I can't, I can't. So I had to like, anyway, it's an electronic thing. It's like, there's, Jason was asking me the other day, he was like, why are you starting to pack right now? Because upstairs, I'm starting to pack. I've already packed my swimsuits. I've already packed half of my underwear. I've already packed my t-shirts and my shorts. And he's like, well, why are you packing so soon? And I was like, because I have to do a business while on vacation. And I have to manage the entire schedule for the kids while they're at home with babysitters and help. And I have to pre-schedule pizza to get delivered. But I have to have someone pick it up and bring it here anyway. Like... It's a lot and I have to make sure the house is clean and schedules for the kids for their chores. They're gonna have to do different chores because they have to cover me when <laughs> I do a lot of their crap. And he was like, oh yeah, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot that you have to get ready to go. And I was like, yeah, it's a lot to get ready to go and be the mom away from the house. So it is time to make sure this is all kind of packed up and ready to go. I'm going to show you my travel bag if you didn't watch my travel haul video. No, you won't have watched that yet. Ooh, I just gave you a little, a, a little a heads up. Let me see what my schedule is. I have already started to pre-film some videos for the week we go on our trip. Oh, you just got a sneak peek. A week in advance, my friends. Over a week in advance. You just got a sneak peek of that bag. This is the bag I need to start packing up. This is my travel bag. You'll see that in our pack with me video. This bag is amazing. It's so amazing that even my sister-in-law borrowed it when they went, I think they went to Chicago. I don't know, it was a while ago, but look at this opening. You guys, it is the perfect airplane bag. Cause you can like have it nice and tight to be able to like lay it down and put it underneath the seat in front of you. But then you set it up right at your feet, right between your feet, and open it. You guys, you have access to every single thing inside your bag. It is the most amazing bag for travel. And that's why, like, I talk about it in my haul video 
I'm like, I'm kind of a bag guru, but every bag has a purpose. And as Jason is starting to see, he's like, okay, that bag, that is a good bag. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna test the DJI myself. Jason's gonna test it tonight. And then I'm gonna get it all charged up and ready to pack. So, and then later today, Kaylee is going down to, she's gonna walk over to the dollar store from her school. I'll meet her there. I, you don't, if anyone does like pick up at schools, or you don't do pick up at school, you know, you just don't want to go there if you don't have to, and I don't want to. So she's gonna trudge over to the dollar store and I'm gonna meet her there. Her boyfriend's birthday is coming up in a few days and she wants to get him a couple snacks. We've ordered something from Amazon. In fact, it actually might have just been delivered. We are taking him out, Shh, it's a secret. It'll all have already happened. But we're taking him out um, for his birthday on Saturday. I think most of us are gonna, I don't think Jason will be able to go, but we're gonna take him out for probably lunch on Saturday for his birthday. But it's also to celebrate Kaylee because she's taking her driving test in a few days. So it's kind of a big week for both of them. And then it's curriculum night, you guys. <laughs> it's such a, I have like two hours before it's like, go, 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 go. And tonight I miss, I misspoke in yesterday's video Bachelorette was not on last night. I don't know why they're not having it on Monday nights anymore. I really don't understand. Because it was like my thing on Monday nights. It's on tonight, of course, during curriculum night. So I hope I get back in time to watch it because I'm gonna need to sit down and relax. Which brings me to this. These think bars and keto diet, whatever you wanna call it. I ha can't have carbs and sugars. But these Think Bars, I got them at Costco. You can buy them at the regular grocery store. It's cheaper to buy them at Costco. They used to, this peanut butter one is the one I started having at first. And at first it was like, I'm, I'm eating a substitute candy bar. Like it tastes like a substitute candy bar. Last night and then and the night before I think, I had one of the brownie ones. And last night, I was about halfway through eating it. And I had a little bit of my Coke Zero left over from eating my salad last night. And I had taken a sip with the Coke, which normally I have water with it. Cause I'm like, if I'm eating a healthy like candy bar, I should be eating, I should be drinking water. But I had just a little bit of the Coke Zero left. So I took a sip with the, of the Coke after I had taken a bite of the, the brownie bar. And I was like, I don't like that. I love chocolate and Coke. The combination is so good. And I didn't like it. Suddenly, I think my tastes are changing. And then I also started, so I started drinking water with it. And then, this is just a long ramble, I'm sorry. So then I started drinking my water with it and I got done with it and for about two minutes when I took the last bite, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten it. That was too like decadent. It felt like a candy bar. It felt like I had eaten like a Reese's candy bar or something and the like, guilt that you feel when you finish something that isn't good for you. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's not an unhealthy candy bar. This is what I am supposed to have if I want a treat at the end of the day or whenever. And that was like reassuring to me that it suddenly tasted really good. So I guess it's working. I'm not perfect. I had my little tortillas on my salad yesterday when I shouldn't have. I'm not perfect at it yet. I'm changing and trying to uh, figure things out, but I'm on my way and we're gonna figure this out. Going on vacation is a totally different ball game. No idea how do I go to Hawaii when all they serve is rice <laughs> and rice. I don't know, but I can have all the steak I want, which is a good thing. All right, we just got back from the dollar store, you guys. <laughs> She went a little overboard getting her boyfriend his birthday stuff. Let me show you what I got. All right, this right here is to annoy his mother. <laughs> yeah, I would be so annoyed if that was given to my kid. And then she just got him snacks, right, Haley? And then you got in pictures of you to go in, well, one of the pictures is gonna go into this little frame. Did they come in the mail? Anyway, she's gonna package this all up in a cute box she's got painted and have that ready for his birthday. And then I actually got a little size of face wipes for our trip. 
remembered that I kind of needed one of those. And I added sh shower fizzies to go into our basket here. The Dove soap that I told you I needed to just replace our general supply. And then you guys, <laughs> this is my pile of stuff. All right, I got some simple, really unhealthy meals for the kids to make themselves while we're gone. They will have adult help, but they tend to just make snacks and easy food on their own quite well. So I got some little corn dogs for Chelsea. She really likes those. I'm gonna have them do breakfast for dinner one of the nights. This way they don't have to like turn on a griddle or a pan. They can just put these in the microwave or the toaster. And then I got some fun little lunches for the two younger kids to take once or twice. Just as something different and, you know, kind of fun. And Jason got moon pies for him to take on the airplane. Okay, so I got six bars of soap. I think three of the bathrooms already need a full replacement, so I wanted to get a couple extra ones to stock up on. And then I got elastics for myself. I seriously don't know where these go, but this one is mine. I'm going to, like... No one else pulls their hair back, so I don't know. Well, I guess Kaylee does, but I don't know. And these ones are mine. I'm going to keep those. The face wipes. Then I actually got a little travel thing of um, antibacterial wipes along with the face wipes. So that's for our trip. And then I got a cute little card that has little chickies on it. Right there, little tropical chickies. And then inside it says, just wanted to send you some warm fuzzies. So it's kind of a play on the warm blanket. It's These things are all things to like cozy up and be comfortable after recovering from surgery. So I'm gonna get the basket ready. I'm gonna put some tissue paper down in it and kind of drape it down over the side so you can't quite tell that it's a laundry basket. But this is how we do it. We do it cheap, we do it affordable, but we'll wrap it up all cute. Okay, it's not like super beautiful because <laughs> the white blanket kind of blends in too much here in the back, but I will add a few more things to it as people, what are you doing up there? Um, I will add to it as people bring me a few things, but I think it's pretty cute. She'll get the idea of it right away. So, and I think I've kind of covered up the fact that it's a laundry basket. <laughs> so, yeah, so okay, I did a good job then. Can you get down and have the yogurt that I set out for you and not just cereal? The yogurt, literally, right here. This is my, like, late lunch of choice. Cottage cheese and broccoli. This yogurt that I just got out for you. Stink. Also, Abby came down after Kaylee had taken up and scared her with that chicken thing. And Abby came over and she's to me and she's like, oh, wow, what's all this? And she was, like, super interested in the gift basket and put that chicken right up behind my ear. And squeezed it I about like fell over so we are on a mission I'm gonna pick up the camera next when dad gets home and we are gonna scare the daylights out of him he doesn't know we have it while we're watching TV or we're gonna sneak up behind the couch or something when he is not anticipating but don't it, do it like, don't get him like the because he can see it through his um, computer yeah it's got to be when he's watching TV and we sneak up the stairs so anyway I'm going to put this camera down until he gets home. It'll probably have to be after I go to curriculum night for Ashley. It's weird to go to the school and only have curriculum night for one kid. <laughs> that yeah. hasn't happened. And sadly, we missed it for Chelsea. Totally missed her curriculum night. It would have been difficult to go because it's so far away. Yeah, but we clean out our desk and you like my desk. <laughs> Was it a mess? Oh my gosh, this kid is a pigsty I everywhere. Know. I thought you were cleaner at school. Hmm? Yeah, you cleaned it up, but maybe you should keep it neater. No comment? You need to have some milk with that. Come over here and get some milk. And mom's gonna have some broccoli and some cottage cheese. Okay, it's been a few hours. I went to curriculum night and I got some more things from people. They dropped them off. I got some face masks. Funny story, <laughs> when my friend said she was gonna drop them off, I literally thought like COVID face masks. I was like, that's kind of an odd thing to gift, but I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> no, like this is what we called face masks before 2021. So, you know, call it what it is. Just, you know, sign of the times, I guess. 
and Kaylee wrapped up the cute little uh, chicken, so now I can't scare Dad. I was gonna scare you. Oh, I can't see you. This is like horrible lighting. Boo. No, Kaylee got this like rubber chicken that you squeeze it and it like makes a ton of noise. And Abby today came up right behind me. I was showing her the basket over here and she was acting like all interested and she got like right up. Well, mom, this is like so cool. I'm like right up behind my ear. And she squeezed it and I literally jumped back. And I was like, we have to get dad. And then she wrapped it all and is buried and it's like tucked in. So can't scare anyone. But who's to say I can't go buy another one so I can scare you with it? Cause that, like that will take my scares. October is... The chicken? Yeah, the chicken. I think Scarefest needs to come back and make an appearance in I October. Think, I think we all need to get together and <laughs> scare you to where you pee your not... pants. <laughs> well, that happens if I just laugh. So... <laughs> Actually, I think maybe we did it we got you to go on the roller coaster. Um, were, I didn't were, have time to pee my pants because I was falling out of the roller you coaster. Were falling out. You were so I did scared. fall out. No. I was like hanging no. on my no. butt. It's made to pee that way. You weren't falling out. Dude, the first time I did, I thought I was falling out too. And it's I was freaking out. out. I was freaking out because I thought I was falling out because it's a different feel than any other one. It's you're wrong. You're supposed to feel like No, falling. it's wrong. Yeah, it did because it only holds your legs. It's a cannibal. Floating and falling yeah. upside down are two completely different okay. things. If Ashley didn't fall out, you're not going to fall out. Okay? <laughs> anyway, we're going to say goodnight. I'm exhausted. Bachelorette is, in fact, on tonight. It's not Bachelorette. Bachelor in Paradise. And yes, I'm watching it. And everyone around me is probably going to make fun of me. That's fine. Take care. Good night. STDs in Paradise? Is that what it's called? <laughs> So bad. Oh, 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 sorry. You're so bad. Um, anyway. Oh, good crap. Job, I know. Excellent. I did really good. That was excellent. We should get a video of that. Let's get no. a video of that. No, just go to bed. Go to go. bed. Yeah, what are you go, away. About? go away. Go away. I've only seen him for like one minute and he's already giving me a hard time. Take care. Make sure you subscribe because we're so close to going on our trip and you are going to want to see our interaction on the daily for eight days. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait a minute. That's Why are we, we doing come back this? together. I know. <laughs> hey, can she get a different flight? I don't want to be on it with her. Anyway, take care.